Morning all and welcome back to the WTF on... Uh, on the road. On the road. And today we are coming from, or not quite live, but uh, we're from the Museum of Internal Power here in, uh, not, not too far from Cardigan in the, uh, in the middle of nowhere here in, in Wales. And uh, this place is probably the best museum in Wales, I reckon, or probably the UK. Uh, it's got all the fantastic array of stationary engines, really old vintage things, diesel engines, steam engines. In fact, today is, the, is their open day where they crank up a few steam engines. And so we're, we've come along here with a few of, well, mostly they're all Ian's gas turbines. Uh, so we can just display a few gas turbines uh, to the public and uh, show them what it's all about. Anyhow, we're off to get a cup of tea, so uh, we'll see you a bit later. Oh, been a long day. So this is our little base cap that we've got here at the Museum of Power and we've got a selection of engines which we're going to be running for the uh, benefit of uh, Joe Public. And uh, Ian and Paul are here as usual. Hi and, YouTubers. And uh, <laughs> we're going to just walk around which engines we've got which we, we're going to be uh, firing up. So uh, let's start over here I think. So Ian if you can just tell us what we got here. Yes, okay. Well, we're here at uh, WTF on the road and um, we've brought with us a number of uh, small gas turbine engines and uh, this one is an IHI Dynajet portable micro gas turbine uh, generator. It was built in Japan um, and uh, sold into the US and then imported from the US and it produces an enormous 2.6 kilowatts um, at uh, uh, 110 uh, volts. So lovely little micro gas turbine there, a stationary unit uh, which we shall demonstrate a bit later on. Okay, okay. moving on to this, the next Over one. Here we have the American engine, um, a Garrett GTP30, uh, another small auxiliary power unit style stationary engine. That drives a 25 kilowatt uh, generator. It's an uh, electric start, very nice little, uh, little unit there. Okay. What we what else okay, are we what so else are we going to be running? a classic British uh, Rover 1S60 uh, stationary engine. Uh, another bona fide stationary engine. It drives uh, an alternator, 30 kilowatt alternator, um, and it's a 60 horsepower machine. And again, it's uh, electric uh, electric start. And, and finally, finally, over here, we go on to some German engineering. This is a BMW 6. 012 again a 60 horsepower machine and it's driving a generator a DC generator and this is a piece of MOD kit RAF kit that was used for jump starting helicopters and this, and is, and then this is this is the hand cranked uh, unit isn't it yes so the unique feature of this machine is you crank it up by turning these handles so it needs no external electrical power to start it, which is uh, what was required if you've got a flat battery in your uh, your helicopter. So a very nice piece of German uh, engineering. And all these machines are about 50 years old, with the exception of Dynajet, that's about 20 years old. Great, so uh, we should have fun firing this lot up this afternoon. Brilliant. working.
have light. Not much.
Okay, I just need some fuel then. Another jerry can? Um, this is our little workshop. Why does he use a gas, a goldfish tank as a gas tank? Okay, I can hold this if you go and uh, sort all this stuff out. Can they go in and sort this stuff out? Oh man. <laughs> I wish just to... Paul, Paul, haven't you got a quick way of doing this? Oh my, you know. <laughs> Your prostate problems again. <laughs> that is a little bit of plastic you can put in down there, which um, improves to get that kind of um, mean the butt plug? mass flow. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong orifice, I think. <laughs> We'll come back in about uh, half an hour when you finish. Thank you. 